howdy, hootie. Oh, welcome to my channel. Don't worry, we're gonna do the dance. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. How you diddly doodly? I had to change, mate. It's freezing! I'm all in black today. I don't normally wear black. Where's my cross at? Grab the cross out. If you ain't been here before, I'm carrying. Nice to see you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, I'm not doing the car Mickey read because you've already had one of them already. And I'm not comfortable. Like I've got ants in my pants. <sighs> I've just been out with the dogs. So, let's have a look, see here, we're going to do your little prayer. I am, I hope you're right guys, I hope you had a good day, probably more fireworks tonight, so poor little Gypsy, she's going to be all um, panicky, but I found a channel on YouTube, and it is um, music for dogs, but then when you look down, it says fireworks, and it worked a treat, she was snoring, I was still next to her, but she was snoring her head off, and it's got, like, dogs in it, and it's also got, like, um, kids giggling and then dogs panting and that. So if you've got a dog and they're scared of fireworks, go onto YouTube and honestly do that. It's brilliant. It's just, like, music for dogs and look for the fireworks one. So, right, let's have a look. Which one of my guide is So I literally just pull them out at random. Right, so we're going to do this one. Move Like You. If you want this book, it's on Amazon. And it's 365 days of the year. Prayers for women, but it doesn't have to be for women. I do promote it because it's a lovely book. And if you don't know how to pray or you don't really like um, feel comfortable praying, just do a couple of these a night or just one or whatever during the day. So I've got to lift it up because my eyes are bad. So Lord, author and finisher of my faith. Be the author and finisher of my life. I'm so glad you finish all that you start because although I see changes, I long to be transformed by the power of your love in me. Each time I find myself responding in a new way, a way that is more like you, Jesus, I rejoice. Confirm me to the image, Lord, until my transformation is complete. Don't stop reworking my heart until every trace of hardness and every selfish thought are gone. Keep replacing my thoughts until only love remains. I want to be unrecognisable except as a reflection of you. Amen. I really love that. It says, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, yeah, we just did that one. All right, guys, there's a lovely little book. It's like literally every day of the year. So you can start it in January if you want and do it every day or whenever it like, tickles your fancy. So I hope you're right, guys, like I said, and it is chilly out there. What should we do? we do a little positivo. Um, shall I or shan't I? What shall I do, angels? Guide me, guide me. Right, I'm going to do... Healing light oracle cards, and these are a bit reflective, so we don't know about the light because it depends what time of day it is in my room. So I'll give it a little shuffle. Be good to yourself, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the read earlier. Did you see all the angels coming? Oh, it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look at my last video that I posted this afternoon. And uh, there was loads of orbs, and I love it when the angels come in. They tend to come in more in the morning. And um, oh, it was lovely, lovely feeling. So you might see them this afternoon, but I don't ask them all the time. Well, I didn't ask them this morning. Oh, one's popped out. So we've got energetic action. I'm, oh, twos came out, sorry, two. Oh, so we've got energetic, energetic action. I'm focusing on my heart and doing what I can do right now. For what I can't change, I choose to let go and trust God. So you're obviously focusing on, folk, focusing, focusing on yourself and what you can do right now with yourself or whoever. For what I can't change, I choose to let go. So whatever you can't change, whatever situation you're in, they're not great on here, guys. Just focus on whatever you need to do. And whatever you can't do, just give to God. Give everything over to God. Give all your worries over to God as well, guys. Be energetic, as in like your energy. All right, and you might be feeling a lot more energetic as well, I'm feeling led to say, just focusing on yourself. For what I can't change, I choose to let go and trust God. And some things you can't change, and you just have to give all your worries over to God. Decision making. 
I choose positive energy, light and calm. I choose happiness no matter what I experience. I overcome fear and inform God of my thoughts. You can't really see them on there, guys. I know they're not great, but... Oh, they're a bit better like that. So you might have a bit of um, decision-making to do. You might have to put yourself into action with something. Just choose to be positive, guys. You are the light, and you are. And stay calm, okay? And just be happy. Like I tell you, I only prom promote happiness here and um, to keep you uplifted. And you don't have to worry about fear. You might be overcoming fear as well. But fear is only what's been installed in you, okay? It is not real, guys, and it's not. I told you before, when you do stuff sometimes, you're more scared of it before you actually experience it. And when you do it, you're like, oh, it wasn't actually that scary. And sometimes it's good to conquer your fears as well, because then you realise you're not really scared of much. I, I was scared of heights. I still am, but not as bad as I was, because, whoa, that's too many. Because now... What I used to do is go on high things, go on cliff tops, and just try my best to not be frightened. And um, I mean, I couldn't even go up a ladder at one point. When I was at work, I had to. I used to shake and everything when I went on the ladder. Right, positive thinking. This they're flying them cards. They're moving loads. Right, so positive thinking. So now, your life is full of little bits of light. You need to direct your thoughts to the things that bring you happiness. So your mind is gradually calmed by the light. So you're stepping into the light now, guys. And you are, because you are the light. And um, you are directing your thoughts now to things that make you happy, not anyone else. Just think of your own happiness, guys. I do do it like you sometimes. Sometimes I read it like it's on the card. It depends how I'm guided. So you've got decision-making energetic action and positive thing all oh, these cards really want to talk to you today these are from god these cards are right fidelity so now you're committed to your mind and heart and will you are committed to fulfilling the needs of your soul you believe in yourself in god and in the universe i believe a lot of you are believing in god at the moment and you need to god needs to be your guide and you're very intuitive as well you are and you're trusting in the universe. So I am committed to my mind, heart and will. I am committed to fulfilling the needs of my soul. I believe in myself, in God and in the universe. They're lovely though. Now, some of you might like the rain. So sun. I believe this to be like the sun as well as in the son of God, like Jesus. Or the sun as in you might like the sun. So just take it where it fits with you. So I am nourished by the great sun. As a result, the light within me grows brighter and brighter. I always feel like son of God when I see that card. Right, concentrate, guys. I focus on what's inside of me. When negativity rises within me, I transform it into light and hope. So every time you feel negative, just think of something positive, even if it's an old memory or just it's to do with training your brain and just changing your mindset. That's what I had to do. And I always tell you that it isn't easy to retrain and it's not easy to be positive when you um, think negative. But as time goes on, you get more positive. So the negatives don't become so like um, intrusive in your life. Self-assurance, guys. So nothing can stop my path to the light because I have faith in myself. I am aware of my innate qualities and abilities and know that I can accomplish all tasks. So you are more self-assured now. You've got self-assurance. And just concentrate on that and focus what's within you. Don't be negative. Know that you are nourished by Jesus. And as a result of that, you will glow and grow brighter every day. And be committed to your mind more, like we just said. And be committed to fulfilling the needs of your soul. So how you feel in your soul. And believe in yourself and believe in God and believe in the universe. So I'm going to leave them ones. I've just got a really nervous feeling around me then. So some of you might be feeling a bit nervous about believing in yourself. Because I did go a little bit nervous for some reason. That wasn't my feeling. It was like an energy I just felt. So I'm going to just do... I don't really do these. These are my new cards. And they are secret garden 
and they step into the wonder and mysteries of the secret garden. They're just charming little cards. Uh, they're just a little bit of an encouragement and um, just like for every corner of the garden. So take refuge from daily life within and secret mazes, rose trellises, strange statues and fairy gates as the commotions of the outside world fade away. What secrets will you uncover? So it's like being in your own little secret garden, being in your like own home or your secret little hideaway, or it can be yourself. So when I looked through these cards the other day, it was like you're the garden. So let's have a little... Oh, hang on. Why are they like that? Oh, I don't like it when my cards are all mixed up. <laughs> it's so not easy. Right, let's have a look. So I just see weed and forgiveness. So you might feel like you've got a few weeds around you and you want to pull them out. You might need to forgive someone who's been a bit of a weed in your life. So imagine it being the garden and you've got weeds growing and you need to go out there and pull them weeds out and throw them in the bin, guys, okay? So angels and ancestors, let's have some cards for the collective, please, and see what they need to say to you today. Beauty. Dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. Oh, I love that. So you probably are very strong and you are vulnerable, but you need to be tender as well. Be tender with yourself. I think you're like a little bit of a uh, armadillo, like um, hard on the outside and soft in the middle. You might like armadillos. I don't know why I got armadillo then. I got that advert, armadillo. <laughs> yeah, crunchy on the outside, soft in the middle. I think we used to have um, sweets in the UK called armadillos. This always resonates what I say. So don't think I'm crackers. So, yeah, so be tender with yourself, but strongly vulnerable. You might feel a bit vulnerable. That might be why I was why, why I was feeling, I can't talk today, why I was feeling a little bit um, nervous. I've got a little nervous feeling. So, yeah, I've had trouble speaking today. I know, I don't normally. I'm all right speaking. <laughs> right, radiance. You might be radiance in your beauty, looking very gorgeous, men or women. So, dream. Have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book. So you might need to have a little dream, have a little meditate. Um, go and take yourself off and have a cup of tea. And if you have got a garden, sit in the garden. If not, go and sit somewhere nice like gardens. You might have some gardens around you. And uh, maybe you want to get into books again or you do read a lot. Just take it where it resonates with you. And it's nice to go and have a little sit down and start reading. Like I told you the other day. It's, it just takes you away from the world a little bit into another place. Oh, that was quite a few cards there. I'm not taking all them, angels. That is a lot of cards. They're throwing them out today. I want to speak to you, see? Right, let's have a look and see what else we've got for you. So have a good day, guys. It might even be evening where you are. Morning, if it's morning. Good afternoon, if it's afternoon. Surprise! Surprises. Oh, venture down the rabbit hole. Oh, so you might be finding a surprise or you might be venturing down the rabbit hole. You could have rabbits because my little unicorn that watches me on here. Hello, my lovely little unicorn. Mm -hmm. you, you've got baby rabbits. I know you have. So that could be to do with um, rabbits. But yeah, venture down the rabbit hole. You might like Alice in Wonderland, I'm thinking. You might even be called Alice. You might be reading Alice in Wonderland because I've got pictures of Alice in Wonderland in my mind so it's obviously what i'm being shown play among the grass and well we've got violet again so among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover so if you did have a little play and be a bit adventurous you might find that you sort of uncover yourself and who you are you might want to be wild for a little bit. Maybe you need to go and be a bit wild. Not as in wild as in, woo, flick your bra off and swing off the chandelier. <laughs> but yeah, just play for a little bit. Oh, you probably do play around now. You're probably feeling more playful, I feel. It's good to play. Getting back into your childlike ways, that comes up a lot. It might surprise you that when you do um, dance around and play around that you like discover that you... Um, have got little hidden talents and that. And you are beautiful. And don't forget it, guys, okay? Men or women, you are very, very beautiful inside and out. And you are. And no matter what people make you feel like or they have made you feel like, don't take no notice, okay? People only make you feel like not beautiful because that's how they feel inside. That's all it is. 
dare. Take a risk and fly. Now, you might be flying and you might be scared of flying as well and getting with this. Or you might want to just be daring and just take a risk and fly high and just do what you want to do, what you feel like doing. And just maybe you want to go out more. Just be daring. Be daring to play, I'm feeling led to say. Just dare to play. Dare to be different. That's what's coming into my mind. Dare to be different. It might surprise you. You might like it. If you go out and play a bit more and um, take yourself out more, you might actually find surprises. You might surprise yourselves and you might find new friends. You might find a soul tribe. But I feel like some of you might be um, reading Alice in Wonderland or you do like Alice in Wonderland because I've got that in my mind a lot. The Mad Hatter. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Joy. So your name could be Joy. Make some time for little things today. So find some joy. Take time for yourself. You might surprise yourself that you'll like it or you might be surprising yourself anyway that you're enjoying having time on your own. And be a little bit wild and play around. Dare to be different. I'm getting on that as well. Maybe there's a dream you had when you was a child and you want to actually do it. You might want to fly somewhere. All right, and remember that you are beautiful, guys, and you are. But right, let's do another one of these. I'm being drawn to it. I really do like these cards. They make me feel very, um, very young and playful. I saw these on Amazon. I was like, oh, I really need to get them because they're just different. You might have a little secret garden where you get messages. Virgo, you're finally ready. That's what a notification I just got. So if you're a Virgo, we've got a lot of Virgos today. You're finally ready to play, and you are. And get out there, guys. Right, persevere. Leave no stone unturned. And I'm getting energy. <sighs> Leave no stone unturned, okay, guys? Persevere with whatever you're doing. So you might be persevering with something. You might be trying to find something out. And dig deep and have a look, because you might find out that there is a secret, I'm feeling led to say. If you keep digging and digging and turning over them stones, persevere with whatever you're um doing only you know and you might surprise yourself there might be a lot of joy that comes out of this situation as well so on 1724 guys so i'll do you another one of these oh change oh you might be having a change which might surprise you and it's to do with autumn as well so as with falling leaves embrace change so I'm feeling some of you might be changing or you could be changing your address as well, like where you live, because we're just hitting autumn now, which is the fall. Obviously, Americans call it the fall. I prefer calling it the fall because the leaves fall. So just embrace whatever change that you've got coming up because it might surprise you. It might surprise you like how much of a change this is actually good for you. You might have been looking for this for quite a long time. Yeah, I believe you have got a change coming up. It's going to help you grow, and it is. All flowers must grow through dirt. Oh, I'm feeling that um, you was like a little um, star seed. I do, and you got buried, and then you probably did feel like you got put in the dirt a little bit, and now you're a beautiful flower, and you're going to be getting loads of abundance as well. I do feel that on this a lot, because now you're growing into that beautiful flower. I think you came out of the darkness, and I feel that a lot on that card. And you are growing now, guys. And you are going to have a lot of joy now. And you are enjoying the little things in life. And keep on persevering with whatever you're doing, okay? Don't give up. Enjoy the change. Embrace the change, okay? Because you could have a change coming up that will actually, like I said, surprise you. And start playing more. And dare to be different. I keep feeling that dare to be different. Maybe you're looking different. You're acting different. You're dressing different. Maybe you just want to do something different. Capricorn, wake up call. Oh, oh, my light just flashed then as well when I said Capricorn. So I might have a Capricorn watch me and you need a wake up call. So I'm getting energy as well. Oh, Capricorn, you might be doing something a little bit daring. Might be a dream. Like I said, my light just flickered on and off then. And that never flickers on and off that light. Right, so let's put them ones over there, and I'm going to do you, what shall I do you? I'm going to do you, I'm being drawn to the unicorn cards, and these are very small writings, so bear with me guys, 
These are Oracle of the Unicorn. And because my little unicorn, I've got you on my mind at the minute for some reason. Friendship as well. Oh, how lovely is that? You always say you feel like you're my friend. And I feel like I'm your friend as well. And it's, I've got you in my mind for some reason. Yeah, friendship. Seek out your soul family. I said this a minute ago, but you might find your soul tribe. Right, surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socialising. So some of you do need to get out and spend a bit more time socialising. You probably spent quite a lot of time on your own. And if you do go out, you will surprise yourself. I think you are going to find your own little soul tribe. Look, rabbits again. No, is that a squirrel? I think that might be a squirrel, actually. It's either a squirrel or a hare. Friendship. Look at that. I think that is. Is that a squirrel? It looks like a squirrel, doesn't it? But it might not be. I saw a squirrel today. Actually, I saw three squirrels today. I saw a really little fat one with a tiny little tail. And then I saw a really, um, like, little squirrel with a really big bushy tail. And I tried to, like, not follow him up the tree, but I tried to see where he went. And they were so quick. So, yeah, I did see a few of them today. So, squirrels, you might be seeing squirrels around you. Right, so let's have a little shuffle, and then I'm going to finish on these. You've got awareness just come up. So you might be more aware of yourself, or aware of your surroundings. Yeah, awareness, look, awareness. So tiny, this writing. So, live in the moment, guys. You need to be really conscious of your thoughts at the moment as well. Look for signs and synchronicities, okay? That's what it says on that one. The writing's tiny on these cards. You need to have patience with something, or maybe you've got a lot more patience. Angels are chucking the cards out to me today. <laughs> today, I'm getting loads coming out at once. They don't normally come out like this. I only just get like one woo, or two. We got... Sanctuary. Oh, you might like the colour blue. It's a really lovely blue as well. Take time out from the world. Spread more. So spread. God's sake. What is wrong with me? Start again, Gary. Sanctuary. Right. Start again. Take time out from the world. Oh, I could say that. I'm not going to. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. So some of you might be flying away somewhere or going away. And you do need to, obviously, we said about soul um, tribe and that, but you do need to spend, spend more time on your own. I think some of you are spending time on your own and spending time alone. Maybe when you're spending time alone, you need to meditate more. You might be going to a retreat, some kind of retreat that makes you feel like it's more quiet and you can meditate, I'm feeling. That's a lovely card, that one. Look at the colour of that blue. And look at that there, look. With the light again. Sorry about the nails, guys. I pick my nail varnish so I don't bite my nails. I'm doing really well. And I know it looks awful, but it's stopping me putting my fingers in my mouth. So, pol what's that? Polar polarity? Polarity. Polarity. I'm not sure what that means. If you let me know in the comments, I do admit to you when I don't know because I'm dyslexic. That's why I say spread instead of spend. Oh, my days. I'm terrible in Oh, it's so tiny, this writing. Right. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without the dark. Understand the law of polarity. Polarity. You'll know what it means if you don't Google it, because I'm going to when I get off there. So some of you might have been in your dark side, or I'm feeling you might need to do a bit of healing and get into your dark side. Because without the dark, you can't have the light. So some of you might need to, or you might be doing this now, in a sanctuary or go into a sanctuary where you need to go in and do a little bit of healing and it make you feel so much better. Because look, healing, purple colour as well. Some of you do need to, you've got something you need to sort out in the dark side. So yeah, just integrate your shadow side. You need to do some shadow work. There can be no light without dark. Yeah, some of you got not like demons, but I think you got a little bit you need to sort out that might be just lingering in the background, something a little bit dark, you just need to get out. And when you've done your healing, you will feel a lot better. Healing's hard, but when you do it, you feel amazing, and you do. 
So do some shadow work, guys. Yeah, take time just to come away from the world for a minute. Get off that blimmin' news as well and stop watching the news. Spend more time on your own and meditate. Yeah, go or go on a retreat, as it said. I do repeat myself, guys. Yeah, you need to do some shadow work, some of you. Or that's what you're doing now, okay? Yeah, look, adventure. So we've got stay on your own to heal yourself. Get your shadow work done. And then you can go out and play, I'm feeling led to say. And then you can go on your adventure. This is lovely. You've got blue and aqua blue and purple again. Some of you need to do a little bit of healing here, I'm feeling, guys. Right. Dare to do things differently, guys. Manifest your travel. Is that travel? Yeah, you. some of you are travelling. We've had travelling twice now. So... Manifest your travel um, d dreams. I was going to say desires, and it might be a desire for you to travel. Because I think some of you might be dreaming of traveling as well. You might be astro traveling, I just got. Right, you're moving to a new location. I thought this, I could feel this. Some of you are moving to a new location, which will be a sanctuary for you. And I think you're going to find peace. I really do. I think you're daring to do things differently by moving. You might have manifested this for you to travel somewhere. It might be somewhere that you've dreamed of. You're going to a new location. It says move to a new location. Now, if you're not moving to a new location, move yourself to a different location where you can manifest your dreams. So don't sit in the same old space, I'm being led to say. You might want to retreat somewhere like in a secret garden where you can manifest, where you can dream, where it's very beautiful. Maybe you live somewhere a bit built up and you need somewhere with more trees, more flowers, more animals, like just around you, all right? So take it where it fits. But some of you are moving to a new location. Could be a dream of yours. Could be somewhere you've dreamed of, I'm feeling led to say. But it will be an adventure. And dare to do this. Dare to do something different, okay? Yeah, I feel like you are going to take time from the world and spend time alone. It might be somewhere where you're going to retreat to where you feel better. Maybe you're going to move and do this on your own. And it might be a bit scary, but don't worry. You've got angels behind you and you have. You need to do your shadow work and you do. Yeah, you definitely do need to do a bit of healing. You might even find a friend when you move to this location or when you go to a new location, you might find someone there. You need your own soul family and you do. Some of you might feel a bit lonely and you need to surround yourself now with more positive people. You might be around negative people. Yeah, you need to spend more time socialising. So that is for you. I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to leave you on one card from my lover's oracle. We're on 28, guys, just so you know if you like your numbers and that. You might be 28. 28 might resonate with you. So have a good day or a good evening, wherever you are. And know that I love you and I'm really proud of you. And I'm proud of you doing your shadow work. It is hard. I know I've, I'm doing it and I have done it. And I had a bit of a night the other night where, yeah, look, you're manifesting. You are. You're manifesting miracles. So you might have a miracle coming your way. This might be a miracle where you're going. You've got a dream again. Your dream is soon to become a reality. So you're dreaming about something or you're seeing something in your dreams that's going to come true. Trust in this, guys. Follow your guidance with this because you've got something you're manifesting. And it's going to be a dream come true. And it is. Or oh, like I said, you're dreaming this. Because you've got dreams come up now. Hmm. So you could be dreaming and seeing something in your dreams and you might not even know where the location is. And when you get there, you might realise that you dreamt to this place because I'm visualising it now. And I am. I'm actually visualise, visualising your dream. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. I think you are. Yeah, you need to take a step back and spend time alone. Don't place your focus on other people. You're placing your focus on someone else from the past and you need to stop because it's time now to give to you and it is. Some of you are. You're 
thinking too much of the past you're not letting go of the past you might be watching tarot too much and you might be like you can still watch tarot, but don't get too involved in it because you're just sitting there watching people get their karma all right like i said before all you're doing is having a nose what's happening to people but you're moving forward so you need to concentrate more on what you're doing focus on you take a step back from what you're doing you're spending too much time you are you need to spend some time on your own but not spend too much time with the past thinking about the past because you need to manifest um whatever you need like you need to manifest your future and move forward something will stop you manifesting and you've got a miracle on the way and you have so all you got to do is just pull yourself back a little bit guys because you're very powerful at the moment be careful what you're thinking about because you might manifest the past back on feeling here yeah look power you know what's right for you and you do. You do. Yeah, you need to walk away. Whatever you're doing, you need to walk away. So if you're in something, you want to walk away from a job or a person, you want to walk away from, you need to walk away and you do. You know what's right for you. Instinctively, you do. You've got the power to say no to whatever this is, all right, or walk away. I feel really strong to say this. Some of you need to walk away from your past or walk away from a person or a job. And it will all come all right in time, and it will, because you're manifesting now miracles and new things. You need to take a step back, guys, and you do. Take a step back, get in your little sanctuary, all right? Do a bit of healing, do a bit of shadow work. Maybe you've got a little bit of darkness you need to get out. Then you can start having adventures. Where you're going will be an adventure. You might like northern lights. I'm feeling there, the northern lights there. You might live near there, and you will find friendships, and you will. And you will seek your soul family and you will surround yourself with positive people or you need to, guys. Believe in yourself, okay? And believe in your dreams. Just, you've got self-assurance, you know, okay? And you do. Someone has deeper feelings for you and then they're, they're not letting on. Yeah, this is a past person. Now, I'm getting this now right near the end. Right, this always creeps into your read, and it does, right? You've got someone who's admiring you from afar. Now, I'm not feeling great at this, so I'm sitting like this. There's someone has got feelings for you, and they're not letting on. They're not letting you know, and they want to take action now and move towards you. And I'm really annoyed that this is coming, but it always blooming does. This is angels telling you. So when I said to you about you're thinking too much about something, you need to pull yourself away because you're pulling this energy, like either this energy is pulling you so you can't let go, or vice versa all right someone wants to come rushing into you and they do look they want to take action towards you that come right at the end with that secret admirer and i'm not feeling this is like a new person i'm not i'm really not yeah someone wants to act now they want to take action towards you I'm feeling someone wants to stop your dreams here, and I do, I'm sorry, I, I do, and do you know what's just come out underneath, and I feel this because it's really annoying me, someone knows you're moving forward, and they want to hold you back, they do, because, guess why, and I know I can, I could feel this, because you're getting your abundance, you're getting your abundance, and you've grown your wings, you might be in the same sex relationship or the rainbow represents Jesus. Take it where it fits, guys, or you're coming to the end of your rainbow. Guess what? Where your pot of gold is. Someone knows you're flying forward, mate, and you're getting your abundance. Someone knows that you're enjoying the beautiful things in life. And you are. You, <laughs> Your supply is just unlimited at the moment. I'm getting like I can't talk again. <coughs> someone's going to stop you, they're going to try and stop you, be warned, okay, because someone knows you're getting abundance, someone knows you're moving forward, someone knows that you're an earth angel, or you've grown your wings and you're flying away, we had the flying earlier, okay, someone knows that you're very beautiful, and you are about to enjoy a beautiful life, and your supply is going to be unlimited of abundance when you move forward, guys, blessings are coming to you, Someone knows this. Someone knows this. Someone does know this, guys. I'm telling you now. I can feel it in the energy. They want to take action towards you. Oh, blimey. Have a positive reading and then they come in. Yeah, look, because they got... But 
Now, I can see devil horns in this picture, and it's not supposed to be. It says intention. Now, I feel someone has got bad intentions towards you, because I'm feeling quite, I'm not feeling nice on this card. Now, I've never seen this card before, and I don't actually like it. It's very dark, and I'm going to show you in a minute. And at the top, it's got very big wings, but it's like this at the top. And it looks like devil horns at the top. And I'm getting cold, and I don't like it. This feels very devilish to me. Now, this horse has not got a unicorn horn on. I don't like this card. I don't know why. Please tell me if that doesn't look like... <sighs> Let me read it. Right. Be clear of what you really want be bold all right i don't like this card i don't like it like i said i've never seen this card before look at that card hope you can see it on there right look at the top look at the top sorry about the light we will get this because i'm going to show you this if it's the last thing i do look at the top look they look to me that looks devilish to me. That does. I don't like it. I don't. Now, intention, it says. Now, I just... I don't know. I can read these cards different every time. I've never seen this card. Now, I might read this card another day, and it might make me feel like you've, like, grown your wings, and it's like... really. But I don't like the crossing at the top, and I don't like the darkness around it, and I don't. And, um... Yeah, just be just be very clear on what you want. Be clear to this person or this whatever this is, okay? Focus on what you really want, not what someone else wants. Be bold with your requests, okay, to the universe. So tell the universe what you want. Now, I'm itching and I don't like this, right? Tell the universe what you want. Make your intentions clear. If you're thinking about this past person or something in the past that's not good for you, you're you're giving it out to the universe, all right? And you might actually manifest this without realising it. If you're holding on to these, like, narcissists, all right, you could manifest this. I feel really, like, my feet are itching terrible. I feel like someone's going to come towards you. They don't want you moving forward. I just don't like the look of that card. I really don't. I don't like the top bit. And look, it's got no horn. Look, that unicorn has no horn. And look at the darkness around it. Look, you can see it there. I don't like this. And I'm going to be truthful. Someone knows you've got a lot of possibilities and they want to take action towards you. And I feel this person wants to make out they're more like that than they are like that. They know you've got abundance someone i feel like someone can't let go of you or you're not letting go of someone and you and they're not or you're not i don't know okay but someone knows you've got a pot at the end of your rainbow and that's you like i said this could be a same sex relationship or you could be really into jesus because it it works both ways all right but look at the rainbow and look at the size of that horn you're ready to go ready to fly blooming Right, guys, I didn't want to leave it on that, but if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Oh, I don't want to leave it on that. Let's have one more of these. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. See what I mean? They're creeping the energy, no matter what, but it's a warning for you from the angels. Right, you're blooming. Yeah, you are. You're blooming. Attract more than butterflies. So you could like butterflies, but you are blooming, all right? Yeah, I just got moths. So you don't want to attract a moth instead of a butterfly, do you? Keep your head held high and follow the sun. Radiance. Now, I feel this is Jesus again. So keep your head held high. Keep moving forward. If you like the sun, you might be moving towards a sunnier place. Follow the sun, guys, because you are blooming. And you are attracting more than butterflies. And you are. All right? Be careful because you've got abundance coming in. And also, you have an adventure, and your life is going to be a big adventure. I think someone's coming in to get... I know I'm repeating it, but this is what I'm getting led to do. Someone's coming in. They are. They want to take action. They've got intentions, and I don't feel nice. Oh! Right. Let's leave it there, guys. Sorry, but I have to tell you, I'm just the messenger. Don't shout at me. All right, guys, and I feel like I don't want to talk. 
<coughs> someone's going to try and stop you. Don't let them. Don't let them. Start manifesting positive things. Try and let go of this person, all right? Just tell the universe, I don't want this person's energy in my energy anymore, all right? If you want to do like a cutting or a cord cutting, all you got to do is go to the Bible. Just go to the word of God as God is speaking and speak it out loud. Speak it with authority, all right? And it will cut their energy off, all right? I love you guys. Have a beautiful evening. Have a beautiful day wherever you are. And thanks for liking my channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I'll see you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. I love you guys. Namaste.